Hi, I'm Andrew and I study human-computer interaction at Utrecht University. In this video, we will introduce you to our master's program and also, very importantly, to our campus. Come on, let's go! So we are here in the Victor J. Koningsberger building, located at the Utrecht Science Park. Here, you'll find the Faculty of Science, where you'll spend most of your time. In this building, you'll find our lecture rooms and also our labs. Let's visit one of those labs and see what our program leader, Judith Mastov, has to say about it. The Human Computer Interaction Master Program is aimed at people who are interested in people as well as in technology. So it's not just about making uh, equipment easy to use for people, but also about coming up with new ways of interaction. It's also a research master, uh, which means that a substantial part of your master program will be conducting a research project. This can be an academic research project within the university. Many of our students also do this in companies. After you finish the master, there are lots of different careers you could go for. Um, so for example, um, UX researcher, UX designer, um, so for example, working in a company. If you've done this master, typically you could lead you know, this kind of work, do research with people and design better products. Some people will go into a research direction, after all it's a research master, so we also have students interested in doing a PhD. So, that was interesting. Now that you know a bit more about our program and courses, let's see what students have to say about it. What I like most about the master's program is that you learn a variety of research methods, so both the quantitative and the qualitative methods, so that in the end, when you have to do a user-centered IT research, that you have all the methods available. What I also like about this master's program is that you can choose courses that fit you the most. So for one of my courses, uh, we did an experiment uh, where we used different uh, mobile navigation methods. Uh, and here we both uh, had a part where we had to uh, implement it to really work on the technical side, but also really research it. So plan an experiment, uh, get participants and uh, analyze the data. So we kind of did the full cycle of doing a ICT project. Of course, as a student, you're not always busy with lectures or lab research. Luckily, in our buildings, there's also plenty of space to study, relax, or grab a coffee with your friends. For example, here at the local supermarket. So we are outside on campus right now. This is a perfect place to grab some food. You can order a falafel, grab some fries, drink some coffee, or eat a sandwich with your fellow students. Here you can also find the University Library of the Science Park. This is such a wonderful place to study. Especially during exam periods, the library here is full of students. In the future, I hope to become a product manager and to be able to both talk on a technical level with the development team, as well as be able to communicate on a professional level with the business side of an organization. What I really like about this program is that you work on real projects, which you can actually build with other students and get feedback on. And this way you can apply what you've learned to an actual product. What I like about HCI is that it combines technology and society in truly unique ways. So thank you so much for joining me and hopefully we'll see you at the Masters Open Day.